Hello artists, so this is video three for painting our letters. You are gonna get a caddy out of the cabinet with the rubber cement and the rubber cement brushes. Sometimes these brushes will have rubber cement glue on them. And then it, also in your caddy, you're gonna find rubber cement erasers. So when you get your rubber cement out, you are not going to take the lid completely off because it does have that brush attached to the glue lid. So just leave it to the side and leave a little opening there for you to use the glue. Then you're gonna get a brush out of your caddy. Remember that you don't have to clean these brushes. I would get a smaller brush for the smaller details, especially on the edges. And then you're just gonna carefully cover and you may want to go over your design a few times with the glue, but you wanna make sure and go to the edge and paint on the rubber cement glue. After you apply the rubber cement, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where you have put the rubber cement and where you have it. If you can tell right here that there's rubber cement, but over here I haven't put rubber cement yet. You can also tell by kind of feeling it, but for right here, in this spot here, it doesn't look like there's much. Where I can see it here, I can't see as much here, so I'd probably go back and put a second coat there. If you mess up, you can get your rubber cement eraser. So let's say this is dry and you can tell right here that it went way outside the lines and you really messed it up. What you can do is just rub off that mistake with your rubber cement eraser to fix any mistakes that you made on your art. Now, this does kind of erase your pencil marks, so you might have to redraw a little bit if you make a mistake. 